Okay guys, another get ready with me segment here. We are going to Osterley Park, Osterley Park and House um, as part of the National Trust again. So it's just a nice day out in the London area, you could say. Uh, just doing my full makeup now, mixing a couple colors because the I usually buy my foundation online so when I got this, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I just had no idea what I was doing. And I always think, oh, this the paler the better, because obviously I'm pale. But this was just way too light, so that didn't quite work out. But that's why I've mixed it. You might have seen I mixed it with a darker color. So it was an old Clinique foundation, which I hate to say was really, really good, because they test on animals still. So, oh, I don't buy from them. I think it's the same for Estee Lauder, because the double wear foundation was amazing. But yeah, then I mixed it with the really light Makeup Revolution product, which I ordered from the website because I just realized my makeup just looks terrible when I make it super, super pale. Um, it doesn't even match my natural skin tone, so it's not like a nice natural makeup shade. Um, yeah, it just doesn't look good. Okay, it's probably a little bit dark. It probably won't show up on camera, really. Um, but... Yeah, I'm gonna set it now with the Rimmel Match Perfection Powder. It's been my go-to. I have a, oh, is this the new one? Yeah, I think this is the new one. I don't know why, they, they're such scammers. They don't fit it up properly. Um, no, there's still loads and loads of products and I love it, it's my favorite. It just looks half empty, so maybe it's my older one. When I get home, the plan for, it's not just, you know, frolicking around stately homes and gardens. Um, I do have, you know, a work plan. I initially responded to a client email. I got a new client um, booking sorted this morning, but then when I get home, obviously I'm doing a full face of makeup as well for content. Sort out, plan and prep my content, edit some content, film a video and get it up for today as well. So not right now for today, obviously, but on the day you're watching this for my coaching channel, I will have hopefully, future Alexa, you better have done this, uploaded um, the vlog I'm gonna film when I get home. And I need to actually plan that out before I can do it. I haven't planned it yet. So yeah, another hectic day, but in a good way, because I'm getting better with planning these things and knowing what I need to get done and whatnot. So it's still gonna be, you know, a relatively busy work day for me. Although I know it's very different to like people's typical idea of a work day, but yeah, still gonna get a lot done. I'm gonna do something I haven't done in a while, the Swede uh, Cloud Mascara. I haven't used mascara for a while, but it's an equally easy alternative to eyeshadow, I feel like. I just can't be bothered to think of a eyeshadow look for this. I wanna keep it a little more natural. And I feel so out of practice. Oh my gosh, this feels weird. I feel like it's probably been like three weeks since I've worn any mascara. It's quite a light coat of mascara. Finishing it up, it's gonna bring the look way more together, look nicer. Um, I'm gonna fill in my brows. I, I need to actually film a whole video of like, a more of like a beauty routine video because um, I need to dye my brows and get back on some of my like regular tasks and stuff. Um, I have some travel plans coming up at some point. So I do want to I mean, I'll be doing it for that anyway, so maybe I'll just combine it into that video, but yeah, my brows desperately need some TLC very soon. And I can't forget setting them in place. This has been a game changer. I think it was like two years ago, actually, now that I discovered these kind of products and actually invested in it. This one I got randomly in an advent calendar, but I'm loving it from Pixie. Um, didn't really know what to expect, but... Yeah, I'm almost out. It's quite a small package to be fair, but oh, it definitely keeps the brows in place. So I always just swipe them upwards. Okay, I almost forgot a little bit of bronzer, just a just a smidge bit of contouring. So around the nose, just a little bit here on the cheekbones. Final touch, going for something a little different. I just realized I'm wearing a white skirt which I hope I didn't dirty from my makeup, and this blue top. So red lipstick is gonna be perfect with that. Bit of a really bright pop, but I'm not going too crazy obviously with anything else. 
this look I don't know why it's giving Snow White I don't know maybe it's literally just the red lips and a little pop of blue but this color immediately and also the little cute bow I don't know why that came to mind not a bad thing obviously but yeah that's gonna be it for the makeup I am gonna do a fixing spray because why not I have to come back and do more content as I said okay let that dry now on to hair hi guys we have just arrived to Osterley Park and house passing a really lovely lake this section is so nice luckily I hairsprayed my hair because I am not liking this weather it is a tad bit windy but we'll make do we'll we'll make it work um, gonna look around I did read up on where there is a specific Bridgerton location so I'm hoping it's open because recently it's been closed I think for refurbishment so hopefully it's now sorry the camera was tilting but sorry ho hopefully uh yeah it's it's now open that would be nice to go and get some content if not outdoors but it is very warm so it's still nice a nice summer's day and yeah Guys, you can see behind me this gorgeous, oh, the other side, this gorgeous house. Um, I'm not sure what you'd call it, maybe like a summer greenhouse, something like that, but beautiful gardens behind us. Just these pink flowers are gorgeous, so I just got some content in there. Um, got my mom to take some videos and photos for me. I strategized, strategized a little bit before I came here, so I kind of knew what style and what I was recreating, what I was taking inspiration from, my poses. Really, really quick and easy actually, so we're just going to walk around, enjoy it. I'm going to get some more content because I just love photography, so not of myself obviously, like in general photography, and yeah, just look around. But I think that might be it for the content and day out. So we are back home now. We did stop off at a cafe um, to just get coffee, have an afternoon break. I don't like to do that too often. And oftentimes, yeah, I'm not really a coffee kind of girl, to be honest, um, just because today I'm particularly tired. And yeah, we just stopped off, had a nice treat, a little afternoon tea, afternoon break. Um, yeah, at a nice uh, vegan cafe, so that was lovely. Outfit of the daytime. This is, you might be able to tell, Prada top, little blouse. Um, love the shade of blue, um, that's what drew me to it. And also, this is the bag I had for my previous, um, for my previous outing when we went to Clifton because um, it matched that blue dress really nicely as well so it's kind of like my go-to little blue daytime handbag and I love the pop of orange it's very very me um, I think it's kind of like a not a fake but like a dupe of the also it's the wrong way around but yeah it's like that the Balenciaga bags I think so yeah then this is an AliExpress um not AliExpress sorry Shein skirt that I saw on sale absolutely love it like a pleated white skirt almost like a long version of the classic tennis skirt let me show you the shoes last because they're just on the ground right now um yeah I love the pop of red lipstick I think it was a good choice for this outfit that's kind of it um for that I also did my nails this morning you can see they're kind of like a sparkly French manicure with p purple silver sparkles added in. Loving that. The shoes. So it's these Primark, again, kind of like a dupe for Gucci, but I absolutely love these. Are they called kind of loafers? Uh, what are they called? Open loafers? Slippers? I don't know. Whatever this style of shoe is, I love it. And obviously it matches this white skirt really nicely. So yeah, that, those are my go-to shoes. Just a little sneak peek and give you a little more insight into my day because I'm trying to vlog more consistently and thoroughly um, and not just do little snippets here and there. I want it to be more cohesive, um, a full view of everything. So right over there, 
That's my little tripod set up there. The table's not actually messy, but it's got a couple things on it. But yeah, I might put some nice flowers in the background. I need to actually prep my uh, coaching video that I'm gonna do. That's the tripod, gonna set the camera I'm filming on right now up on that, in front of this window that I'm standing in front of. Got my seat set up behind me, where is it? Yeah, right there, my seat that I'll sit on. Um, it's the same setup I've always done, but just to show you guys what it actually looks like. And then I need to film some more shorts um, later, but those only take like 30 seconds each because I, I pretty much know what I'm doing with them. But yeah, I do need to get quite a lot of content done before I can like get changed and actually sit at home and relax. Hey guys, I have finally taken the time and willpower to not open up a big Shein um, she in order so i'm gonna open this up with you guys now and box it together first is this exciting thing i think it's a piece of homeware it oh i was worried for a second my address was on there it's not but oh no okay it's a bit messy but um this yeah okay it's what i thought it was so cute it's giving beauty and the beast it's very very cute and pretty it's giving pinterest how cute is that? I don't think it came with like a matching. Yeah, it was just the mug, but you know, I prefer this because it's easier to store and it's like a iridescent um, ceramic ceramic mug with this really cute bow. Love it. I'm, I'm loving like really pretty uh, embellished pieces like that. Um, okay, let's just go straight into the clothes because we've got a few bits here. Oh, this is a skirt. Okay, and I am probably going to film like a whole... Um, try on haul but it's a skirt really because on the back you can see it's shorts this was on sale i absolutely love it how pretty is that absolutely stunning but it's so much more practical because underneath it's just shorts so yeah loving this this i don't remember the price if anyone actually wants to know the prices let me know but yeah we've got that oh okay this is exciting this is a pair of shoes that's actually packaged very well look at these how pretty is that i know it's still a little bit like packaged but these really cute like butterfly small block heel sandals absolutely love that so obviously it's the pair um i'm just gonna leave that in there for now so, oh, okay these are just plain black leggings because i always need more cute like gym wear pieces and oh i don't like how that's done that's really annoying i do not like that at all Oh, that's going to really bug me. I hate the folded over material, but do you know what? Maybe on it will stretch out nicely and be really smooth and seamless. But yeah, I'm not a fan of that. But do you know what? I The reviews and everything all said that it's not see-through and it looked like really good um, quality material. So I think I even got it from the tool section. I probably would have. So yeah, they're going to probably fit me perfectly. And I got a size medium in most things just in case, you know, it's a little too tight because sizing can be a bit off sometimes. This is, oh, this is a really cute top. And I know I said I don't like folded over things, but this that's the style of the top. So I need to try it on, but on the picture, it looked really nice. And yeah, I think that's going to fit nicely. So that's a really cute summer piece. But then, you know, going into winter, I can throw a coat over it. This is just a pair of tights. So let me just unpack it anyway. But they always rip. I tend to get them from Primark um, and just like really cheap ones because obviously like very fine or sheer tights are just probably going to rip anyway. So yeah, they're really, really soft and smooth. Just a pair of like darker nude tights there. This is the cutest thing. This is me manifesting, manifesting my trip. I got something so adorable. And if anyone's a Disneyland fan, then you will appreciate this. Ah, look at that. I think it was like £3.50. It was so cheap and they're so pretty. Don't want to mess up my hair right now, so I'm not going to properly try them on. Absolutely love that. Gorgeous for my next trip back. I'm going to wear that. Okay, and then final piece here. I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm going to need to undo it. But basically, it is a tripod set. So I do, yeah, it all comes together. So you've got the actual tripod stand here and then sorry yeah i meant ring light stand and then it's a big bright ring light um i have one similar to this already so the main thing it has like a swiveling movable adjustable um phone or camera stand so that was the most important thing to me so even though it's kind of cheap and it's from shein you know 
it had good reviews and I think most of these products are going to be the same, especially if you buy from Amazon. So if it breaks, it breaks. I think it was like 10 or 15 pounds at most. So yeah, pretty small investment there, but that's pretty much everything. Me again, I forgot I had a couple items left over. These, these are from Shein. Yeah, these are all still from Shein, I believe. So first is a really cute headband. I was waiting to show you guys and I was like, since I already filmed the other one, I have to include this as well. So I will mess up my hair to show you guys this one. Oh, do you know what? I've actually placed it like almost perfectly. I love how that looks. It's giving Blair Waldorf, which is always the vibe. And it's got, and Bridgerton, because it's got all these little, I think, well, they're not quite bees, are they? Wasps or, um, okay, it's not quite Bridgerton, but yeah, is it wasps or some kind of other insect, but in a cute way, um, like gold embellishments. It, also, it's very Dolce & Gabbana. I feel like they make these kind of accessories or Prada. Uh, next is some nails that they've kind of fallen out of the section, but they are these iridescent holographic nails. How pretty is that? Kind of not too dissimilar from what I have on right now. Um, yeah, I don't know what they're called. If someone really wants to know what these are, I will let you guys know the name of the product. And then finally, <gasps> look at this chanel style mug i'm in love i love it it's like a chanel bag not that i've ever shopped there but it looks like you know the the kind of gift bag the shopping bag that they would give you so yeah i, I wonder if it's like a dupe for that but yeah such a pretty really good quality heavy ceramic mug um i'm absolutely in love with this that was such a good find so those were some extra bits. So a little afternoon update. It is another day. I can't remember what the last clip is that you're looking at, to be honest. But yeah, this is probably two days after what you've just seen. Um, I have just come back from town. I went to, what was it called? I think Yumi Sushi. Um, there was, yeah, Yumi Sushi in town. And yeah, I got a little tofu... What is this? Uh, the vegan, no, not tofu, sorry. I think it is tofu though, looking at it, but the vegan poke bowl, it looks really good. Um, I was looking for like some, I was craving some vegan sushi. Oh, it's a bit oily. And I just couldn't find any. So I went to a couple of places and this was like, obviously an affordable place. I remember that I had a rewards card. So yeah, they stamped it. Next time I get free edamame, so that's a nice treat. Um, yeah, I went to town, just did, went to town. <laughs> um, I went into town and just got a bunch of errands and stuff done. I do need to go back again in the next week, but I got a couple of things I'll just show you if you're interested. Um, I'm obviously vegan, or if you don't know, then yeah, I am hosting also tomorrow my mom's birthday. Why am I speaking like Yoda? What I mean is that tomorrow I have a big day. I'm hosting my mom's birthday. That was part of why I went into town. I got these uh, vegan pastrami slices for a charcuterie board I'm making. I got myself some uh, vegan salmon fillets, which are not, I know it's super healthy or natural, but they do have obviously some natural um, like benefits, some minerals and vitamins and whatnot. So it's not the worst thing. And I am gonna cook everything else at home. So yeah, I like that. And it's a source of protein, which is the main thing. But it does taste quite a lot like salmon, I have to say. And yeah, Yumi Sushi, by the way, was a really, really good service. Um, they were really lovely in there. I, they also give you like sauces and stuff if you're interested. I got soy sauce, a sesame sauce. That sounds good, I might pour that on. And then some little fried onion, which I don't think I'll use that. Then finally, excitingly, I went to Boots. I did their recycling scheme, which I highly recommend if you haven't done that, where you literally just, like, yeah, there's a process to it, but you scan the items. Once it's all confirmed through the app or online, um, you just deposit it in store. My, one, my Boots locally, like the closest one to me, is very small, but they actually had one. So yeah, there's a lot you can do with that. And then you get points, which is kind of like money off. I think I literally got like, five pounds worth of points on my card so that's good um and i'm on a little hair transformation journey so as you can see it's much needed so um i am probably just going to film a separate video for that i got the provoke um which i checked they are cruelty free and i'm pretty sure vegan as well it says here against animal testing um so yeah i've loved this brand for ages i just haven't used it for a long time i got sent a few other different products which are similar i do enjoy them but yeah, if I'm gonna purchase something on my own, I would just naturally go back to this. So the Provoke Brighten and Repair Intensive Purple Shampoo, um, just because I know that it definitely works and it's really cheap and cruelty free. Um, then this, they changed the packaging, which is probably for the best. 
because before it was like a really bright yellow. Um, the John Frieda Lightening Spray, so it's like a blonde spray. I couldn't find any other alternatives, so I just got that. The shampoo, this one was £8, and then the shampoo was on sale. I didn't know, so I think I paid £3.50, so that's really good. And then this was half price, which was amazing. It's the Sensodyne Pro Enamel um, Daily Enamel Protection Toothpaste standard product but yeah this is a pretty good brand from what i know and it was only 250 so yeah i'm going to now sit down with my little poke bowl and probably enjoy some real housewives of orange county catching up on that show having a lunch break Whew, then i have a few other cooking things i need to get done today so it's going to be a busy day but all good <laughs> 